This is the new Holy Land Mars M1 5.5 inch transceiver monitor. Hi everybody, this is Nino from Cinity. We are here at IBC 2022 at Holy Land with Jan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You guys just introduced a new product, something that is I haven't seen from Holy Land before, which is a, monitor, a receiver monitor, right? I mean, you have done wireless transmitters for many years now, but now you introduced a 5.5-inch uh, receiver monitor. What can you tell me about it? Uh, well, uh, this is Mars M1. It's a wireless transceiver monitor and integrated with monitor and wireless video system together. I think it's the very funny part. And also, um, for the monitor, uh, it has 1,000 needs, the brightness, and also a really great performance uh, screen. And uh, for wireless, for wireless video transmission, uh, it has uh, like 150 meters uh, range. I mean, what strikes me, the first thing I see is that the antennas are quite small, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, because usually you have these very big antennas and in general, when you use a separate monitor and have to put the receiver on top, of course, it becomes very bulky and big. So it's nice that it's small. Yeah, uh, actually, this antenna, you don't have to disassemble them uh, when you click them. But if you want to do it, it's really easy to do it. And also, you, uh, it can be paired with other antennas, uh, like uh, sharp antennas or mushroom antennas. And then you have more reach if you put different antennas? Yeah, 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 you have more reach. You mentioned a thousand nits, which is quite bright, actually, for a monitor like this. Is it a, this is full HD? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's full HD resolution, but uh, as a wireless transmitter, it transmits the 4K with HDMI. Oh. But it's amazing that it's actually transmitting 4K because there's yeah. not that many transmitters that are able to do this. So I, if I have a 4K display, I can just plug it in here and see yeah. the image. Yeah, sure, you can do it. Okay. Let's talk about the monitor functions. I mean, I see you have a lot of functions here which uh, give you, what, peaking, uh, waveforms? Okay, so here uh, you can see the color temperature here. Uh, we got 6,500 um, K or like 7,000, 7,000. It's just, of course, the preview. I mean, you're not changing the color temperature of the yeah. camera. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The preview. And also, this time we have the 3D LUS uh, implemented. So you can input your uh, 3D LUS files through the flash drive or USB things here and then um, you can change as you want. Yeah. Does it also have default LUTs like for a standard log from different manufacturers? Uh, yeah, we have default LUTs but you need to you know, import it through the flash drive. We have that one in the standard package. Okay, very nice. And also, one you can uh, you can pause the screen right now. Uh, for example, the directors wants nice. to check the actors' performance, and so they can freeze freeze the things here. Just have a just have a freeze frame. Yeah, freeze frame, and uh, you also zoom and zoom in, zoom out, and other. Nice. It, it seems to me that the operation is quite straightforward and easy, which is nice. Everything is accessible with just two taps. Very yes. nice. And also, you can change. Uh, you can change the mode. For example, uh, if you want this monitor to be uh, the receiver or transmitter, you can change the mode here. Yes. And also, as the wireless transmission system, you can also do the channel scan or other things uh, together. You mentioned receiver transmitter. That's a good question, actually. So for sending, like this is the receiver right now, but the transmitter is an other monitor or is it also a different, uh, you have a lot of other transmitting uh, Mars series uh, yeah, transmitters, yeah. so you can use them too? Yes, uh, for sure, if you only got like um, monitors, so you can, uh, they can be transmitter and receiver, but you got, um, if like Mars 300 Pro, Mars 400 S Pro, or like Mars 4K, the new one here, and also they can be paired, and also our future Mars series. So it's all compatible, basically. Yeah, all com compatible. Very nice, very nice. What else is there to say? I mean, if you turn it around, yes. uh, we have a NPF style battery here. Yes, and also a DC, uh, DC out there. We have a DTAP to DC adapter there. And uh, so, for example, I can feed, can I feed in the signal from the camera with SDI and then 
also send out HDMI? Yes, yes, sure. You can uh, SDI in and HDMI out, or HDMI in, SDI out. Very nice, quite versatile, yeah? Okay. Yes. Uh, what's the, you know, how long does a battery like this last? Uh, it's for MPF, like uh, nine, uh, for MPF 970, uh, yeah. it's around like three to four hours. Okay. Yeah, tell me about the screen. Is it your own screen? Yes, this is our own screen. Actually, um, you know, we started this program is in like 2019, and it's now it's like three years. Why we have, uh, you know, encountered so many difficulties is because of the screen. Um, actually, we want we tried to buy the screen from the factories directly because that's what other brands do. But uh, we find out that screen doesn't perform really well, especially for the needs, for the brightness or other performance. So then we we look at the Apple standards. I think Apple has the Retina standards for their screen. So um, we try to select the LED lamps. I think I mean the small things. From that standard, we choose the different levels of LED lamps, and then uh, we build the screen. Nice, nice. That's that's very cool. So it's not just an off-the-shelf yeah, screen. Yeah, we we do build it through a lot a long time, and also you know uh, if you want to put you want to put the wireless uh, transmission system and the monitor together, um, it's okay because you still have the technology to do that. But if you want to uh, pull them in. It's just a small sized monitor, you know, uh, it takes time. It's difficult. I mean, you're, yeah. you're right, it's actually very small. It's not much bigger than a normal 5.5 inch screen without the functionality would be. Yes, yeah. it takes a long time. We checked and checked and tested. Then we finally get this one. And, you know, in our laboratory, uh, there are many, many screens that we use to test it and one, that doesn't work and then we finally choose this one nice, yeah. nice. and so if uh, if your users or your audience wanted to you know to check the screen I highly suggest you can pull the Mac and our screen and maybe other competitors brands you can check you will know the performance very cool it's nice to hear that you also think about the quality of the screen because I think the selection of monitor receiver transmitter uh, devices is quite there's not so many on the market which have the, the receiver built in yeah. so it's nice to, to hear that actually the screen itself was a big focus for you uh, one question uh, that I forgot to ask is the latency uh, latency is like 80 80 million seconds yeah. okay that's good yeah is there anything else I forgot except for pricing and availability maybe? Uh, yeah, now it's available in uh, on Amazon and I think maybe on B and H and other sites. Yeah, it's uh, 539, but uh, you know, I don't know if it's okay to say here. Yeah, but for different countries or uh, states, maybe due to the tax or other things, uh, the price will be. The base price is like around that. That's that's very competitive, I would say. Yeah, yeah and also we got a kit that's like two two monitors. Two okay. monitors is $999. Very nice. Okay, thank you very much, Jan. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so uh, very interesting device. I think very affordable. And thanks everybody for watching. Thank you. S stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from IBC 2022. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.